Hi, so I'm back this year with my haunted reviews. If you follow my channel, you know I do two haunted reviews every season at the end of the season. Um, so this year I'm doing Nightmare at Gravity Hill and Field of Screams. Uh, this review is for Nightmare at Gravity Hill, and if you see me lock, looking off to the side or something like that, it's because I have notes. So I've been going to Nightmare at Gravity Hill for a very long time. Probably go every other year or so. Um, and this year I decided to check it out. I had heard that it was, it's been extremely busy. Uh, past years, maybe waited about, I don't know, 20 minutes to get in or so. But I heard this year was very crazy because they were um, doing things for coronavirus and it made things more lengthy. So we got there about 7.30 p.m., which for me is really early. I like to kind of get there around 8, 8.30. But since I heard it was so busy every week, I decided to get there at 7.30. So we got there at 7.30, and as soon as we pulled up to the place, the parking lot was already closed because it was full. And uh, so we had parked a little bit away and walked in there. Um, I don't know if they were really letting people in anymore. They had told us to come back in 45 minutes, but, uh, you know, we didn't want to do that because in 45 minutes, it might say the same thing. So we had parked somewhere else and kind of snuck in. I don't know if it was necessary, but I'm glad we did. Um, from there, we had to wait on a line to get our tickets. They didn't allow you to purchase tickets ahead of time. They never do. And they're cash only. So we waited on that line to get tickets for maybe a um, half hour. It wasn't too bad. When we finally got our tickets, the wait from there was four hours. Well, three to four hours. <laughs> so that is a very long time. But that's because, like I said, they are following or attempting to follow coronavirus rules. So you had to get your ticket. They tell you how long they think it's going to be. Take down your phone number and then you can wait in the car, you know, have dinner, you know, whatever you want to do. You couldn't wait there. You could wait in your car there, but you couldn't wait, like, in line or anything there. So, um, we went back to our car, we went, went back, and we went back home. We're only about 10 minutes away, so that was easy to do. Um, we came back three hours later, and probably from there, we waited about 30 minutes or so, and we were allowed to park in the parking lot it was open at that time so finally we got a text this text was about I think like 12 30 a.m. or so like it was it was really late um, and they have the, they only have one attraction if I haven't said that already which is the walkthrough so or when you are waiting for the walkthrough typically they have scenes from scary movies playing or some music videos uh, to keep you entertained which they still had um, we went in there, uh, you, you said we got a text, and then you got uh, another line, which they spaced everyone six feet apart, and I think they had, like, shields up, so you weren't, like, right on top of each other, I think. Either way, we waited six feet apart. They had everyone waiting six feet apart. And then you would go in with only your group. Uh, when we finally got up to our turn... There was only two of us. They had asked us if they can pair us with these two girls. Uh, sure, not a problem. There's only four, four people total, so that was really nice, considering usually at this attraction, they put a, you know big groups together, and then you're all run, running into each other. So we were fine with four people total. And then we went ahead and went in. Uh, it was really good. You know, they always do a really good job. It's more of a, like a homemade haunt than it is, you know, some big attraction that you'd find somewhere like Universal or something. Like it's a homemade haunt. And um, I, you know, I don't think I jumped at all. I usually don't at their attractions uh, or their attraction, but I do really love this place because you can tell how hard every person works from acting to props and more, they truly want you to have an enjoyable experience, which is why I like this place so much. And like I said, by the time we got in there, it was probably like 12.30, 12.45. And you would think these actors would be tired. Maybe they were, 
but they definitely didn't show it. Like, they were definitely still scaring people and, you know, still remained in character. You know, sometimes I've been to a haunt where people, where some of the characters are, like, on their cell phone, not paying attention. I have been to haunted attractions like that, and it really annoys me. So th this place was, like, definitely on their game. They have a lot of dead space, which they've always had. It's not just because of coronavirus. They've always had a lot of dead space. But when you actually get to something that's, you know, a scene or something like that, uh, they do have a lot of work into those scenes, put a lot of work into those scenes. So they have like an asylum scene, movie theater, uh, you know, graveyard, a slaughterhouse type of thing. And the walk itself is probably, I would say, about 30 minutes. Um, so it's a decent walk. They definitely, you know, wind you around a lot. Um, and it's a really fun place. Um, would I wait four hours, three to four hours for it again? It actually was exactly three hours that we waited, we checked. Um, would I wait three hours for it again? Uh, probably not. I don't think it's worth three hours, but they do a good job and they actually did follow coronavirus protocol. We didn't run into any other groups except at the very, very, very end, which is fine. Um, but yeah, they kept everyone six feet apart, they had you wait in your car, you know, they did everything they possibly could to follow protocol, which was actually really cool because no other place did that that we went to. So it was actually kind of interesting to see how they, they did that. Um, they also normally have a zombie paintball, which they did not have this year. I never do it, but just so you know. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed it. They always do, like I said, they always do a really good job and the people that work there are all really nice people. I've never dealt with like a mean person. So it's a really fun place and definitely check it out if you're in Jackson, New Jersey. Um, I will post some pictures or uh, links to other videos of mine and uh, I will also do Field of Screams next. So I'm going to be doing that and you can click on that and see that video. Until then, bye.